I am here in Poland, and other than the beautiful scenery and the amazing history, there is, of course, the food. There is plenty of it, most of it unique to the country of Poland, and today I'm going to be trying this out for the very first time with the help of my beautiful wife, Agnieszka. Smacznego. Yeah. Okay, what is up first? I think we're going to start with barszcz. Mm. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. It <laughs> should looks... try, you should try saying it. Barszcz. Wow, that's mm. great. All right, that kind of felt good. I like the uh -huh. roll off the tongue yeah. there. It's not something I'm used to. So this is a, a traditional Polish beetroot soup. Very beautiful color, and it's one of my favorites. Uh -huh. I love it. Uh, we use, usually eat it during Christmas, uh, but it's also great in the winter. Very comforting. Very. And I'm glad you said beet because it's, it's colored the... Um, color of blood so I was a little <laughs> unsure there for a minute but this is super tasty I've actually never had beets like this mm -hmm. and it's probably already my favorite way of having beets mmm -hmm. mm. all right what do we got next next we have another soup because we like our soup from Poland <laughs> oh very a uh, very soupy people yes and this one is the Easter one I'm tasting some onions in there am I right um, I'm completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of fermented cereal. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Well, my palate needs a little work then <laughs> because I didn't notice that, but I did notice this one, I have to say, is also very delicious. The yeah. more I drink, the more I'm seeing a little bit of meat in there. Mm -hmm. mm. Very, very tasty. This is a meaty soup. I like it. There's another hit. And what was the name of this one? Jurek. Jurek. Jurek! <laughs> Aha! <laughs> a food is automatically good when it just sounds cool to pronounce. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna finish off my zurek, and then we're gonna move on to the next <laughs> one. This is looking like more kielbasa, am I right? It is. Okay. But it's a surprise one. It's a surprise kielbasa. <laughs> I'm a little nervous now. That is. Hmm. Here we go. Outside is a little tough. Um, the meat tastes a little different. Uh, I don't want to say dirt, but it tastes very mm -hmm. earthy. It's mainly made out of uh, fresh blood. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> done. <laughs> um, I'm going to wash that down with a little bit of the beef soup now, if you don't mind. I actually haven't had it for years. It's not something you... Mm, I can see why. <laughs> yeah, you know, it wasn't the worst thing in the world, yeah. but as soon as you told me what it was, I gotta say, I, I lost my appetite just mm. a little bit. This is a <laughs> vegan's worst nightmare. Yes. Okay, you deserve a beer. Thank you. I was really hoping you, were you, brave. <laughs> you would say, I didn't even know I was being brave until you told me what it was. Yeah. And it's still kind of digesting because I think my throat is a little wary of swallowing it. Yeah. <laughs> what is the story with this beer? How do you pronounce this one? It's uh, called Tiskia. Tiskia. And it's a, a brewery uh, from Silesia. One of the most popular Polish beers, Polish breweries, okay. the most classic ones. All right, let's give it a shot. Mm. I gotta say, I have one requirement when it comes to beer. That it's cold? Oh yeah, my wife knows me very well <laughs> and it is ice cold, so I'm enjoying it. I'm not a real critic when it comes to beer. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan. Mm. Much tastier than the blood sausage. In <laughs> fact, if I have a couple more of these, the blood sausage probably isn't going to taste too bad. I have had this one. This is the only one on this whole table that I have had before, but you're going to have to educate me and maybe some of the audience as well because I've been pronouncing it wrong my entire life. I call these pierogies. Mm -hmm. Tell us the real way of saying it. So you would say pierogi, and uh, the difference is that pierogi is already plural. Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I love it when I'm in Poland. I love it when I'm back in the US. This one is just an all-time classic. We're on a little bit of a roll now. We've had beer, we've had pierogi. I'm loving it. What's up next? This one is a special one because I actually never tried it before. I never dared to try it. You've never <laughs> dared to try it? <laughs> no, I don't I feel like it's almost worse than the blood sausage, honestly. What could possibly be worse <laughs> than blood sausage? Guts. You probably shouldn't have told me that before I tried eating it. Um, now, is that the Polish uh, word? No, the Polish word is flaczki. Flaczki. Quite 
flat key. Sweeter. You really should have said flat key first before, <laughs> and then told me guts after. Because now that you've said guts, all I can see is. Oh gross. god, that's really gross. <laughs> I know. Uh, I never. My dad loves it. Like your dad loves it. Of course he does. <laughs> He's a, <quite laughs> He's a, a meat eater. true Polish yes. man. Um, I never. <laughs> Well, it's a little gummy. Um, a lot of sodium, though. Oh, God bless probably. sodium. It's covering, it's covering a whole lot up. of this yeah. taste, which is good. And you know what else covers it up? Or at least helps wash it down? Mm. It's cold here. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Well, you know what? This is a very special occasion because Agnieszka is going to try Flatchki for the very first time. Oh, no. We have the beer on standby. It actually doesn't taste bad. Wow. Your dad would be very proud of you right now. <laughs> she it's was just... a Polish girl, but she's just now become a Polish woman. We have another Christmas classic. It's called Picos. And it's... it's not guts, is it? No. Okay, because it looks like guts. There's a sausage in there. <laughs> so there is a little intestines. All right, all right. <laughs> but it's mainly made out of sauerkraut, some mushrooms, some sausage. Okay. It's really, really good. Bigos. Mm -hmm. mm. That is that is very tasty. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, this is also kind of a classic Polish meal after a long night of drinking, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it tastes the best. Mm, I <laughs> see, so... It's late and you're drunk. <laughs> little, little heads up there, just in case. If you mm -hmm. had a little too much, grab mm -hmm. yourself some Bigos. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm I like this one a lot. The combination of the uh, sauerkraut with the sausage. Again, the sodium, quite a bit yeah. of it, but God, all together, this tastes amazing. Mm. This one might be controversial. It looks controversial. It looks like an eye made out of meat. <laughs> it's a raw beef okay. with raw egg. I was hoping you weren't going to say like cow boob or something. <laughs> I guess we like a lot of meat and bone. I'm starting to think you do, and also, as you said, controversial. I'm assuming because what I'm going to be eating is raw meat mm -hmm. with raw egg. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, here we go. There's some onion and also uh, cucumbers, um, pickles. Perfect. Sprinkles. I have to say it, it's very unique. Mm -hmm. um, I have truly never had anything like it. A lot of these dishes I've ha never had anything like. Um, mm -hmm. This one in particular, you don't really think of eating raw meat unless, of course, maybe it's fish or out of the sushi place. Mm -hmm. This seems like I'm going against multiple health codes right now. <laughs> but you did assure me that none of your family members have gotten sick in the past. Let's hope I'm not the first. <laughs> I'm not a huge vodka fan, but vodka is one of, well, I gotta say probably the most popular spirit mm -hmm. in Poland, correct? Yeah, definitely. And this one looks a little peculiar. This is a mixed drink, right? Mm -hmm. It's with apple juice and cinnamon, which is called Czarolotka. This is actually a name for apple pie, but it applies to a vodka drink as well. That tastes almost exactly like melted down apple pie. That is amazing. With a kick. <laughs> with a little kick. I can't even taste the kick. That's what makes oh, it wow. so dangerous. Now, we say cheers in America. What do you mm -hmm. say in Poland? Nastrovia. Mmm. Ah, Nastrovia. This one you should like because it's very popular in a, among Polish bodybuilders. It looks a little bit like cheese. It is, yes. Okay. It's called Twaruk. Twaruk? So it's uh, very high protein. Very okay. tasty, and the nice thing about it is you can eat it with whatever you want. No, yeah. you can tell it's very low in uh, sugar and fat, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's tasty. A, a little chalky yeah. if, if um, I would add a critique, but as yeah. you said, you can add a lot to yeah, it. Yeah, that's why I usually add spices mm -hmm. or uh, vegetables or fruits. I'm going to take a, another drink mm -hmm. of mine. Mm. Mm. It's dessert time. Nastrovia. <laughs> And we're gonna have this, which is my mom's favorite classic when she was a kid. Okay. Fun fact, it was actually really hard to get. She only could get it uh, for Christmas if you, ha if you had someone who had connections. <laughs> now, why was that? Uh, well, because of the communism, it was really hard and she didn't grow up in a very wealthy family. So it was just harder for them to get things. Um, so this and, was a special day when you got yes, one of these. Now, what are they special. called? They're called Delicia. 
Delizia. And it's basically like a biscuit with uh, chocolate and jello inside. They're really the good. They're and amazing. does Delizia stand for delicious? Yeah, kind of. Ah, because they're very delicious. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect little dessert. Mm -hmm. Another classic Polish candy. This one was introduced in uh, 1955. Ooh. So it's really, really classic. And this is one I can pronounce, Prince Polo, correct? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. And it's just a wafer in a um, in chocolate. Amazing, simple. The most popular wafer in Poland still, so let's give it a try. Nostrovia. <laughs> Candy fit for a prince. Mm -hmm. A little tastier than the blood and guts, I've got to <laughs> say. So which one was your favorite? The Borosz, I would have to say, is my favorite. Mm -hmm. The pierogi is an all-time classic, mm -hmm. but I've had it before. So for the new stuff, i got to go with the Borosz. Good choice. Nostrovia. <laughs>